This is what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be expanding on what we talked about yesterday with plants. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, flowering plants, talking about their diversity. So I'll give you guys a few minutes. Do the warm up that's on the board. Just write it down in your notes, the answers. I don't need to write down the question. Let's do the warm up. Get you thinking about what we did yesterday. Um, two minutes. You guys, you guys see working on it. Um, then we'll go over it. All right, can someone, one wants to read this? Read the paragraph. I got it. You already got it. <laughs> Have you ever touched part of your flower and found a powdery, colored substance sticking to your fingers? That substance is pollen, which contains male reproductive cells for reproductive reproduction to occur. Tiny pollen grains must reach female reproductive cells, which are sometimes located on separate flowers. Right. All right, so question one. What are some ways in which male reproductive cells in pollen might reach the female reproductive cells? What may you think of? Yeah. yeah like animals, insects, or insects, animals, right. So you give me an example of an insect? Uh, bee. Right. Anybody else? Can we give an example of an animal, maybe? Animal pollinator? Bird. Bird, right. So hummingbirds, different types of birds that might uh, find the flower tasty. Anybody else give me another example? Yes. The wind. wind, right. So wind pollinators. Uh, wind, the wind might serve as a pollinator in that case. Um, let's go to question two. Um, so this is a review from yesterday. So who remembers um, what land plants? They evolved from what's the ancestor of all land plants? What did it look like? You guys remember from yesterday? What was that? They also remember all land plants came from the water, right? What did they look like? Algae, right, so green algae. All land plants, um, the common ancestor was green algae. So how might reproductive cells of these ancient plants might have reached each other? So think green algae grew, grew in the water. How might their reproductive cells came in contact with one another? Water, uh, rise lower. Right, so they just released their gametes into the water, currents came together, and they combined the gametes to form the embryo. That's exactly right. Um, like the cells would like float up to the top of the water and then the water washes up like a wave and all that. Yes. Yeah. Then it recedes, it stays on the land. Exactly. Uh, part two, in what ways, so pollen, so land plants moved on, plants moved onto the land. So how does pollen uh, represent a key adaptation to life on land? So think of pollen. Pollen is just gametes that are, the reproductive gametes that are enclosed um, in a protective coating. How does that, how is that important for life on land? What does that do? Right, but we'll, so think of moving from life in the water to life on land. We're protecting our gametes in a covering. How is that important to living on land? Remember, gametes in the water didn't have that kind of covering, but pollen covers reproductive cells. Why is that important to cover your cells on land? Protect against so so it protects it. But think of plants in the plants in the water. You have the water there to keep it protected, um, keep it wet. Uh, gametes on land, they need some kind of protecting present to prevent it from drying out. Remember we talked about yesterday that draw, plants drying out on land was a major problem, major challenge that plants had to overcome in order to live on land. So, all right, good job. A little review from yesterday. Uh, just a reminder, what is this again? Cladogram, right. What does it show? Uh, what kind of relationships? Evolution, right? Evolutionary. Yeah, so change over time shows evolutionary relationships. Remember, we hit upon these guys yesterday. Today, we're going to be talking about angiosperms. Do you guys remember what an angiosperm is? All right, so what's happening at the lab? So, plan of one. So, we're working through this today. You guys are going to be dissecting uh, example flowers. So, when I need one person from each group, I want you to come up here. I will give you a flower. Um, you're going to go with your partner, and you're going to move to one of the lab bench spaces, and you're going to work through the questions on here. The first question asks you to uh, record the number of sepals um, and the different organs, and it just asks you to attach it to the data sheet. The last page in here is your data sheet. What you're going to do is you're going to attach an ex one of each organ. You're going to tape it to the appropriate square, so where it says sepal, you're going to attach one sepal. You're going to record the number of sepals that you observe in your flower, and then you're going to find its functions. So you're going to do that for the sepal, the petal, the stamen, and the carpal. Um, and then there are some questions 
in here that you need to answer. Um, try to get, we're going to see how much we can get done with this today, and then we'll talk about it. Is everybody good with that? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, so anyone want to tell me what we're going to do? you want to say what we're doing? All right, you said, got it. you said, um, 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 a partner, like, uh, somebody in the group, um, that's going to do what? Uh, Digest the flowers. Right. And then we're going to dissect it. We're going to move over there. We're going to start dissecting the flowers. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? All right. Let's get started. Let's go. Leroy. I got it. 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 Yes, you want to be peeling these back one layer at a time. Do not mutilate these. So, this would be the this is one of the confusing ones. Yeah. Alright, so what first up, what do you think? Is it a monocot or a Tape up here in the front of the room. Uh, we need to tape the parts down. Save it, keep it for later. You don't want me to on there. Do you have a partner? Seth? Is there a group Seth can work with? Seth going in? You go with that. Yeah. These two guys right here? I'll take them. Make sure all your plant parts are thrown away. Um, staple your assignments and I'll take them. We can finish them up tomorrow. Larry, bring the scissors.